Hello, hello. How's it going? We are going to continue playing with Rapier, which is a physics library. Oh, hello, kitty. Come on. It's a physics library uh, originally written in Rust, I believe, that... Yes, we looked it up last time. Uh, written in Rust, and they're pulling it into browser land via Wasm pack, and we're using it through React 3 Fiber. There's a new experimental library that's pulling it in. So we're going to keep playing with that today. Let's uh, go ahead and pop over. Um, so I've just got the main docs open, and oh, hello kitty. I started up our server already. Let's uh, open it up and see where we left off last time. So we have a little box. I guess I turned, uh, oh, uh, let's go to the models tab, or the models route. So we just cut the models, yep. So we got our two uh, columns and they're dropping in here and doing some physics stuff. So it's looking pretty good so far. Um, what we want to try to do today, I think, is we have just a random box in there. Um, so I, I kind of want to get like a ground plane that we can drop things down onto. So I think on the stream, basically the bottom here is going to be like the ground. And if we can emulate that and have stuff fall, fall down from the top, it can fall then. It'll be falling down in 3D on like a 2D um, kind of view. So I think that's what we're going to try today. Um, so let's go to our code here. So we were working in this uh, W flange is the beam or the column that's dropping right now. Um, and we've got a material and a geometry. We pulled this. This is a GLTF file that we pulled out of Blender. So we drew it in Blender, exported it as a GLTF, ran it through this library here, and then uh, pulled it into our scene. And our physics code is here. So we're using physics component through React 3 Fiber, or React, yeah, React 3 Fiber Rapier. The rigid body and the, the debug, uh, we currently have commented out, but that, that kind of shows the collision surfaces. Um, we don't really need the frame anymore. I think we can pull that out. Let's pull open the docs. Um, I did also update it. We are now on um, 6062. So we can see if uh, anything is in the change log that might be worth uh, taking a peek at. Instanced mesh support. Um, so instanced mesh is, as I understand, a way to bring in the same mesh multiple times. Let's see if they've got any notes here. Take a peek at the PR. No, not, not really. Okay. Um, yeah, so as I understand, it's a way to uh, performantly bring in the same element multiple times. Take a peek, see if there is. Oh, that's kind of an nifty. Uh, I dig the uh, 
the transition. So they do have a position on the rigid body. Which I th uh, last time we were playing around a little bit with if we're supposed to add the position on the element itself or if we're supposed to add it on the rigid body. It kind of seems like they are, well, they've got a position here. So this must be, I'm going to presume that this is like local and this is uh, kind of like outer scope position and then we're grouping things together and within there we can move things locally within there. So if that is the case, we have a rigid body. Let's try moving this out and we'll see what happens. Yeah, so it does actually put them in a different positions. I think that's, I think that maybe, maybe that was an issue before and they've fixed it or something. But I, I think that's the way to go. I remember we were having issues with that. And it could, we keep running into weird caching issues with the parcel cache. Possible that that's part of the causing confusion as well. Um, So do they have any information about like a plane or something? Instanced meshes. So we need an instant instanced mesh. That's hard to say. Okay, yeah. So each instance will be attached to an individual rigid body. So I suspect we'll end up wanting to do that eventually. So kind of good timing that they have added that. I'm not sure where these, the buffer geometry is coming from. But I suspect we'll want to switch to that. Um, okay, so we've got we've got some events, and we I think we had a note and oh, hi Kitty. Let's sum it up with the console log. Hi. And we had put one on our main on collision enter. So we didn't seem to be getting we're getting a collision. It's definitely colliding with that. But we're not actually getting the log, which is interesting. And this type B equals fixed was was key because uh this box it made sure that the box isn't gonna move. So I mean that could that could very well be having something to do with it too. Um if we move that log here. I wonder if the fixed things don't. Ooh. I really did not like that. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. That's interesting. <clears throat> Come on, Kitty. 
software. Bump on the mic here. So let's, uh, you're going to sit down? What are you doing? Go ahead, sit. She's just going to lean against me, I guess. So, and we need to figure out the position. So if I, uh, right now it's showing up kind of in this corner right here. So if I move just this first val arg to zero, let's see where it moves. We run into a bug. Is this going to crash every time we save? That's annoying. Okay, so moving it over in this direction, I guess I would qualify that as is that the X direction, I suppose? <laughs> well, that's uh, going to be frustrating. Every time we save, we have to restart our server. So let's make a note up here. Um, position args are in an array of, I think we're going to call it x, y, and z. Did it actually, I don't know if it saves that. Are they falling down at the same time now? So maybe that second argument is the height. Yeah, I think that second argument is the height. So we'll say where y is vertical, x is towards our camera. And Z side to side relative to our camera. So to verify that, um, if we make this zero and we make this something like uh, 40, they should land on top of each other. And I'm curious if, so you've got two elements that are not fixed if we're going to see the collision. There we go. So now we're seeing the collision. So I guess that collision doesn't actually happen if the element is marked as fixed, which is fine. Okay, so we need to do we need to do some sort of plane. We could theoretically just make this box really 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 big, which might be might be the thing to do here. The box is from the helper library dry. So we're going to head over to the docs for that and we're going to see if they've got anything else. So they do have a plane. Let's try doing the plane. I think we had at one point, yep, we still do have plane imported. So we had tried it at one point. Um, I'm going to take off the position and rotation. We'll just see what happens here. And it doesn't have anything with material, which is interesting. So we... What is the deal here? Let's try uh, removing the parcel cache. It's possible that we have something like corrupted in there. So 
So without the cache, it's got to rebuild a little bit. Still not too awful. Okay, so the plane is... <laughs> I love how it landed on there perfectly. Um, the plane is rotated. So we need to rotate it about the X, I guess, would make sense. So it's rotating towards us. Yeah, so you can see it's still falling down. Can we rotate a little bit to see it? Yeah. It's hard to see it. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I got to rotate it up, it looks like. I was rotating it down because I can't see the... It's hard to tell if it's flat or not. I think if it was flat... Here, let's take out one of them. If it's flat relative to our shape here, it should land and stop perfectly. Start the server again. Speaking of, well, that's start spring up. I want to see if I, I, I didn't break my stream overlay. Hey, okay, sweet. So it seems to tip. So I think we're going to have to play around with the camera a little bit here. Because the camera is... I can zoom this out just a little bit here too. So this is our whole canvas. And we basically want the we want the surface to be like level with the bottom here. So like I don't know if I can get my hand right there. We want it to from this view, we want it to hit right at the bottom there. And the camera that we have is, is moved up, right? What happens if we, I think it's actually rotated around. I'm not sure how that camera position stuff works. We had played around with that a couple streams ago, but it's still, doesn't necessarily come natural, I guess, to, to me. Yeah, so it's real zoomed in. Um, where's that camera coming from? Canvas React 3. Well, let's go to the docs here and Let's review the camera again. All right, where is the camera? We'll, we'll search for it instead. Hooks, maybe? Camera. So it's a 3JS perspective camera. Oh, uh, so it's camera field of view? Which is interesting because we have another... Oh, wait, what? 
So we have field of view. Aspect near and far. Oh, so what's the position? Let's try bumping up the field of view slightly. Um, I'm wondering if there's going to be, if we're positioning the camera, if we're assuming everything's going to land at zero, zero. If we want to just move straight out, if we say something like 50, what are we going to get? Okay, so it definitely moves it out. I think we need to put a material on this plane just so I can see it. So at least for right now, let's see if we can get a material on there. Oh, there is another camera. So do you bring it as a separate camera? Huh. I wonder if that camera is just like a helper? That's built into React 3 directly. All right, so it doesn't actually say anything. For what for geometry shortcuts for that, that 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 I wonder if we just do like a color on it. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely something goofy. Guess that's the uh, downside of upgrading. Oh, it didn't change the color or anything. I think fifty is too far out. Probably do something like 20. I think with a wider field of view, we are able to see more, which is why it seems more zoomed out than before. Ooh, do orbit controls have orbit controls? If you need to inject in the imperative camera or one that isn't the default. Mm. Okay. It will spin their contents. Ah, okay. All right, so we have a default camera then. That looks better. It's still tipping. So it's interesting that it's 
if 90 degrees is completely flat, because 180 would be completely turned around. Um, if we made this a little bit bigger, ah, that's going to get annoying real fast. What can you do? So now it's it's just gonna slide down, yeah. So it's definitely sideways relative to what we're looking at here. That's interesting. So, I mean, it's possible that it's not actually coming in. Or our model is um, position or rotation is different. But from the global, if we're rotating, mm, if we're rotating the local position, maybe that's that's part of the issue here. Oh, hi, kitty. So if we do something like that, I wonder how this. Oh, wonder how that's going to change things. With this physics engine, I'm wondering if us changing the position there is actually changing the global. Now it tipped the other way. What? It is like vertical. Start up the server again. What if there's a good way we can figure out? I don't see any notes about the controls or anything um, that can give us the inherit pass from underlying three controls. Maybe we can look at the storybook. Device orientation controls. Interesting. Oh, it actually like grabbed my pointer. I guess that's why they call it pointer lock. Um, can we make this a little bit bigger? Yeah. Oh, custom camera. So that's where the camera stuff comes in. I think we do want to... So you can turn off parts of it. Enable pan, rotate, zoom. So 
So I don't think changing the camera controls was gonna give us much. Okay, what is it sliding down? Because the plane is definitely way over here. <laughs> so the, the is this just changing the collision? I have a little bit of a cough. Um, so type fixed. All right, let's try react three, try flat plane on the ground. There are also shadows, which is kind of cool. Let's see what this one looks like. I guess it's going to take a second to load, though. So maybe we don't want to look at code sandbox. Um, so this is about figuring out the geometry and the shaders, which is cool. Uh, I mean, it's real cool. But it doesn't say anything. 50. I mean, couldn't go away. So I don't need that right in front of you, but. There we go. Yeah, look at that. So that looks like they're using shaders completely for this. Shaders and textures. Okay. Created a plane. <laughs> I mean, that's fine, I guess. So this is basically what we're using here. Uh, hi. I mean, that doesn't really help us though. Uh, on my desk, please. Okay, so... We have a couple of things we can toggle. There's the plane with the arcs. It seems we can adjust the rotation and the position there. We also have the rigid body. And I think that's adjusting the collider. Um, it... it I mean, we, we can try putting it on both and see if that actually rotates it as well. It would be nice to actually see the plane itself. Let's see if we can look at their code real quick. I do want to use the plane because that's going to give us the uh, a flat surface. Core plane. Nope. Not seeing plane in here. Positional mesh reflector. Hmm. 
cube cameras. Let's search for plane in the repo. Shapes. I think that's where gonna where we're gonna want to look. Okay, so it's using the plane buffer geometry directly from 3GS. So if we go here. Let's do docs and search for that. Plane geometry, okay. So we have the two inputs. Um, width and height. So it is a vertical plane. <clears throat> so the second arg is the height. So if we took off all of the rotation, um, and we made the height that should make it kind of like uh, look like kind of a, like a skyscraper, I guess, or more, more tall than uh, wide. Zooming it out here a little bit. Yeah. So that's definitely the height. So when it comes in, it's coming in that way. So if we uh, rotate, rotation equals. And I, th I think the rotation is in degrees, so it should be 90 degrees. But it might be a different, it might be in radians or something. Yeah, it's still doing like a weird... Like, what is it sliding on? So that's adjusting the rigid body itself. Okay. So if we put it directly on there, it is now contacting that directly. Yeah, that looks better. And then it slides off. But why is it angled? So I'm going to just rotate. I think it is. I can't tell if it's. Yeah, when I when I turn, I'm actually turning. My camera. So now I'm holding shift and it's panning. It does look like it's at like a 45 degree angle or something. So what is a. Uh, can we search for rotation in here? Rotate. Um.
Do they have any information about like positioning or anything? Trying how to run things locally, update. Audio core. Materials, objects. Samples. There is a rotation. Why wasn't it finding it? That's weird. Objects, local rotation. See Euler angles. Okay, so I guess it's X, Y, Z. So if we do a, I mean, and it did specifically say angles. Oh, in radians. Yeah, okay. Um, I might have to look that up. I don't remember the conversion offhand. So, if we want to go 90 degrees, we're at a pi 2 radians. Do they have a radians? No, they don't. Um, so I think what's that we're, we're putting in 90, <laughs> um, so we're doing like a whole ton of rotations. Um, if we pop up in a calculator, so pi is 3.1415. If we divide that by two, so one five seven would give us a rotation that should make it flat, I believe. So I think we're understanding the Euler angles correctly. That's effectively saying that we have X, Y, Z, so we have the same is the angle between the X and the N. Okay, so N is out. So it's not actually a rotation with the x-axis. It's rotation from. So we wanna would want to actually change the beta. Well, we would change the, the middle one, I guess, because y is, or the, the second arg is up. And we would want to rotate it down. So let's check out what we got. It should have rebuilt. It did seem to work. Um, if we 
adjust the position. Let's say negative five and zero. That should let it drop just a little bit. Restart the server again. Yep, okay. So it's not landing perfectly. If you could see, like we're not seeing it. I guess we kind of want zero, zero to be down. So if we zoom in the camera and look up maybe. What does that look like? Maybe if we just do five for the camera. We are very needy today, kitty. But I don't want your tail in my face. So it's still landing. Um, we might be able to... So we moved the camera out slightly. What happens if we change this value? And what we can do, I think, is we can make our plane the, so the depth of it, when we're looking at it, it's like this, it's super deep. So we can make it not so deep, so it's sort of like a thin strip, almost like a wall. And when we're dropping things on it, it would be very unlikely that things land and stay. I mean, it might happen, so we might need to have a way to clear it out. But everything lands and then just falls off, that'll be a, <laughs> whoa. Okay, um, so is this a rotation? So we did before a, assuming this is in radiance, 1.57 is a 90 degree rotation. So it'd be going from, you know, if we're looking straight out, now we're looking straight up. We typed in five. So if this is in radians, I might've looped around a bunch of times. It's looking like straight up. Oh my goodness. Can we look at camera, maybe? Cameras. Um, is there any get world direction? I guess we're in a perspective camera. We've got an FOV, near, far, zoom, view. They're viewing Fustrum. Interesting. Oh, this is a really nice graphic. I'm uh, covering it right now. That's a real nice graphic. So this is we we had described this before where um, we've we've got the the near and the far. So we've we've got like a slice that we're actually seeing things within. Um.
And here's all the projection type of stuff. So what we're trying to do is put the objects at a spot where the vanishing point, I guess we're kind of looking up. Let's restart this. Huh. I don't understand. Like that camera rotate. Oh, position. I'm changing the position. So I guess it's moving up slightly. I suppose that makes sense. Okay. Um. So if we move out and we do a rotation... And if we say zero, 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 um, we want to rotate it. I think we want to do this and I think we want to go with maybe one. So not full 90, more of a one, five, seven would be 70. So it's a little bit more than like 75 or a little bit more than like half. That doesn't look awful. Um, where is our um, so our plane right now is negative five. So actually, let's put our plane at zero. So our camera is resting right at the plane. Oh. Then we're going to move our flanges up slightly. Our, uh, our columns up slightly. Refresh. Okay. So now it's landing right like right at eye level is our zero zero. So if we move our doesn't seem like the rotation did anything. Let's take the rotation off. Let's just see if it changes at all. It doesn't seem to be changing anything. Um, what other things can we tweak? Is rotation not a thing? View and zoom. I assume there should be something where we can like change the direction that, that it is uh, looking. I don't think we want orthographic stereo. And we don't want stereo. That would be more for like VR kind of things, I'd presume. Focus. Near. View. Zoom. Hmm. Um, let's try bumping the rotation up slowly. So we're going to need something where like we want zero zero to sort of be at a good distance away. 
So we want to move the camera back, but as the camera goes back, the plane is kind of like, you can think of it like a uh, um, water. Our view, we're like, our body's in the water and our eyes are like right at the plane. So we can see kind of below and above. So what we want to do is, if our field of view is this, and we're looking right at the plane right now, we want to, I think, rotate our camera like this. But it, the rotation doesn't seem to actually be doing anything. <clears throat> so if I put the camera down further, what are what is that going to give us? I think that's going to shift the thing up. Oop, I did it on the wrong one too. Did I? No, I didn't. Yeah, because we are now below the plane. So even if we do like negative one, it's still going to be below the plane where we're going to, uh, our view is going to start getting cut off. Hi, you're back again, kitty. Put the tail down. Yeah, so we're still below it. So I don't think there's any way we can actually go less than one for position of the camera. Because we need our eye level to be above the surface of the plane. So we need to figure out how we can rotate it. If we move away... If we bump up this value to move the camera further away from the, the center of the scene. You're dead again. Oh my goodness, that is so annoying. Kitty, kitty. still going to be right in the middle and it's going to stay right in the middle it's just going to keep going back so i think we need to figure out how we can get the camera rotated and see if we can figure out why it's not rotating camera is there anything else in here regarding the camera Loaders, graph. I don't see anything there. Um, interactive cubes. So let's look at the example. So these cubes are just in place. The camera is rotating. So there's camera. Oh, there's a look at. Camera dot position and camera look at. So it's looking at the scene position. Um, update set size. Oh, it is actually listening to must move. That's kind of nifty. So it adds a whole bunch of objects to the scene.
Doesn't seem like it's actually responding to the mouse movement. But there is that uh, camera to look at, which is interesting because I don't actually see it on here. See the base camera class for common properties is camera layer production, clone, copy, get world direction. So we don't have a reference to the camera, so I don't know that I can call that very easily. We might need to add a camera rather than using the default. So if we look at this, a responsive three perspective camera that can set itself as the default. Okay. You can also give it children, which will now occupy the same position as the camera and follow along as it moves. Okay. Interesting about this manual thing. So if we pull in a camera, and set these for it, what are we going to get? Kitty is right in my uh, workspace here. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now she is sitting on my lap. That's a little bit easier to deal with. All right, position. Making all of these props instead of the uh, object that we had before. And I wonder as an object if it's going to be easier to uh, modify this. So now we should have a new camera and it should be set as the default. Perspective camera is not defined. That makes sense. We forgot to import it. Um, that should be imported from here. Oh, I don't know that it really matters as far as the order of this goes, but kind of feel like the camera should be first. Come on, prettier. We can work faster than that. So we got our camera again. Doesn't, oh, well, we don't have a rotation in there, so that's fine. So if we do a rotation of one, is our camera actually gonna change now that we've got a specific camera that we're affecting? Try that server, start again. Doesn't seem like it changed at all. The position still seems to be affecting it because it's further away. But it's not actually rotating that camera. So it, just out of curiosity, if we change the field of view, what is that going to look like? I don't think we actually want to change the field of view. I think we do want to have it at 120 because that's a pretty good like representation of what your eye might see. So it's a little bit more 
scoped in like that, I think. So I think I'm going to leave it at 120. But why isn't our camera moving? My nose is all itchy from the cat. Um, so, I wonder if it's just looking at like the horizon, basically. These Euler angles, oh my goodness. Cat hair. Tickling my nose. All right. So if we've got a camera they have a bunch of like references to the camera update and position copy we can set a Aspect ratio, field of view, near and far. Set the base camera class for common properties. Note that after making changes, I don't know if we have to actually call the update production matrix. I'm assuming it's doing that for us. We have a default uh, square canvas, default of one. Might actually want to change the aspect. So we've got nineteen twenty by ten eighty. So one point seven eight, I guess. I don't know if that's going to change the look much. Ah, server, come on. A little bit. I think it does look better. All right. Um, So there's a dot view. I wonder if the dot view has something to do with it. Get, get, get. Okay. So it's talking about cameras. So we're doing offsets of the camera.
I don't think that's what we want. I think the zoom is fine. Field of view is fine. All right, let's try doing, th see what Google tells us. 3GS uh, rotate camera. So there's a camera to look at. So do we have anything in our... This, here we go. Perspective camera that we can use to... <clears throat> Aspect, you can also drive it manually. So there's an on update. I wish we had more. Uh... More to kind of go off of there. Let's look at the perspective camera in this. All right. So they have a perspective camera and they set the position. And they got a group. They've got a position of Is it actually modifying the position? Yeah, it's modifying the position. So you're not rotating the camera. Like this here is actually changing It feels like a weird demo. This isn't actually changing the camera. This is moving the elements. So... How would we rotate the camera view? I mean, it looks like there's a look at. Let's, I guess let's look at their uh, code. Camera shake, camera cube camera. They've got a cube camera. They probably have a perspective camera. Yep. So we've got set camera size, camera ref. It's forwarding the props to perspective camera. So it's using the perspective camera from 3JS. <laughs> of which we can get
I mean, we can call them methods, right? I wonder if we can do the get world, world direction. Let's try it. <clears throat> and then we'll just go ahead and log it out. Doesn't seem to do anything. So on. Refs, ro oh, there's a there is a rotate. Okay. <clears throat> and we were rotating in I guess we can say rotate X. Rotate X. No, that's his angle. Are we assuming it's still in radians? Gosh. We'll see if it's still in radians or not. Let's try making it a little bit bigger. Ooh, not that big. Ah, come on. Almost done, almost done, there we go. <laughs> what the heck? It just it yeeted. Oh my. That's how I got a real, that's a heck of a perspective. Um, it doesn't seem like that rotates working though. Just rotate on world axis maybe. Rotate an object along an axis in world space. Let's try that. <clears throat> I'm going to assume that everything is just on radiant radians. That that's just the measurement. A search on 3GS is not the best. Rotate X 3GS. So, um, 
3DJS. Rotate camera. I don't want to rotate it around an object. I just want to like look up. Point camera up. <laughs> So there's the uh, the look at. It will not recollect if the child is a camera is a child of another rotated or translated parent object. Okay. I mean, we could try it. Look at. Um, we want to look at fifteen. Look at is not a function. Okay. It took a long time to reload. Yeah, doesn't like to look at. Man, we could try it again down here. Camera equals. Zero. Fifteen. Zero. Field of view. And try just taking this one and using the built-in default camera. Was it an object? I don't remember now. I think it was like that. Look at is not a function still. Hmm. I think I'm gonna I think I am gonna keep the separate camera. But it doesn't seem like that look at function actually works on it, which is annoying. And it doesn't seem like does anything either so we'll just take that out it's kind of interesting because our v VS code is giving us suggestions but none of them appear to be doing anything so Okay, so the target is zero, zero, zero by default, which makes sense. Huh. So the I mean, we've got to be able to use the look at somehow. Okay, let's say React three fiber camera look at.
Interesting. Oh, so we're using orbit controls. Some of this is not going to work. So let's take out the orbit controls for the moment. I mean, that makes sense. I didn't think it would actually like override anything. Um, just affect them after the fact. Okay. It's so frustrating. I don't know why it's doing that. So we're we just not getting a seat now? I mean, it's there. Are the, were those upper controls? Uh... Is orbit controls helping us out here? So if we just kind of set everything to, oh my gosh. Let's check out this. So it's using React Through Fiber. It's changing the camera. So the camera starts at position 333. And then it's changing State that camera to look at. So on every frame, it's of changing the camera. And we're setting a ref to the mesh position. Um, you can do that anywhere you want, either via use three, which gives you the camera, then a use effect, or on the canvas. I mean, we tried on the canvas. So if we take out the default camera and we just use the built-in one, I think we're missing a, yep. You actually have to specify a camera. Otherwise, it doesn't give you one. Maybe if we put this one back. Camera to lock, look at is not a function. I wonder if, oh, that's still in there, okay.
No, it doesn't like that. It really doesn't like this look at. Which is really odd. Um. Yeah, so I don't have to say make default or anything like that. Let's try this. If this doesn't work, we might need to like... I think we'll end up having to play around with this more. Um, and I might just try to figure out this camera look at off screen. Because it seems like this should work. But if we can adjust the camera so that it's looking up, that'll make the base go down in our 2D, you know, from our 2D perspective. And then we can basically get stuff to like land effectively right on the ground. So it'll land like right down here. And we can make it really thin so when it lands it falls off. And we can go from there. But yeah, now this is just like hanging. Oh my goodness. No fun. Why is it giving me so many troubles? I swear. The working with Parcel on the React 3 Fiber, we've really run into a bunch of these like weird caching issues or something. I'm not quite sure. And even in upgrading it too, I'm hoping that it will get fixed. <laughs> I feel like we end up running into more issues. Um I don't know. It's like straight stuck now. I wanted to at least try this. Using the default camera. If this default camera doesn't work, I think we're just going to call out on that. And uh, we'll come back to it next time. Yeah, still nothing. So something with this look app, we can get a camera. We can get, a, and we can change the position of the camera. We just cannot get the camera to uh, rotate. And that is what's giving us issues here. So let's uh, let's go back to taking the look at out. And that should reload. There we go. Yeah. So it's like, oh, it's kind of interesting. There's a line now. So we're looking straight down the middle, right at zero, zero. And if we want to angle the camera up, then we'd be able to see like the whole scene and stuff kind of fall down. But so I think that's where we're going to call it. We'll keep playing around with it. Um, maybe I'll find something off, off stream that fixes it. Uh, we'll have to see what we're going to do next time, though. Um, we might we might do some more Blender things to give us more options to pull in here. Uh, if this ends up working, I don't know. We'll play it by ear. But otherwise, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Have a happy weekend. See you next time. Bye.